know. <laughs> thing that got us through our stint at Bedford Hills. Yeah. Lazy. Kids were really inside. Huh? Yeah. Upstate. We were political prisoners. Oh, no shit. No shit whatsoever. How'd you get into that? I was in college. It was a turbulent time. Mm. Oh, yeah, I mean, the 60s. Did you hear that? 70s, oh, bitch. right. You know, I was going to say the 90s because of all the flannel. <laughs> You'd have been better off going there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's true. <laughs> Just a pair of tweens and a shuffle book. <laughs> mm. Whoa, whoa, Irene. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Very straight edge. <laughs> I mean, not at all what I was expecting. Yeah, I was on the straight and narrow <laughs> before I met my guardian devil. What? Yep, she was shouting down some co-eds on the quad, and I, just... I heard what she was saying, and my brain opened up. World didn't make sense before that, and then it did. Yeah, it's adorable. She brought me into the group. And changed my life. <laughs> Introduced me to Gabriel. Oh, la, la. Who's this Gabriel? What's who's Gabriel? Gabriel started the group. He recruited me, and he trained, trained us, us, inspired us. He was our, he was our guiding light. I see what's happening here. I'm getting a real magnetic vibe, like a cult leader with pretty eyes. Yeah, you look like one of those white guys you see in the picture frames that you buy from Target. Excuse me. Don't, I no, mean, excuse you're nuts. you. Uh-uh, excuse me, Gabriel was hot. Okay, I'm gonna split the diff. I'm gonna picture my high school French teacher. <laughs>